Hey everybody, it's Ron from Clarksville Diggers. This was a little filler video. I went back out to the homestead site. Actually, yesterday. Today's Thursday. And I went there Wednesday. It was overcast and it was sprinkling. We uh, were getting a little bit of rain. And I wasn't quite into it. I did uh, hunt for a while. Found uh, a couple of little items. Nothing spectacular as the last visit. Not saying there's nothing else in there. Uh, I ran across a lot of signals and uh, I just didn't have time to uh, go after every one of them. So I was going to run that in a two part series. The uh, first one is not going to be very long, and like I said, it's not a whole lot. Just a little search and uh, a little drive on the back property. But we may put it out anyway and uh, follow up with uh, another half of it. In the meantime, let's do a little promotion. You know, I always talked about these real mowers. I've got three of them. This one here is my favorite. The Remington RM3100 is 18 inch cut. Why I like it. My other two has got adjustments. But this dude can get low. I mean, I just cut this and it's like, it's cutting like a, an inch above the ground. And I could even go lower. Go that. I mean, I can get to the point to where this blade is like right on the ground. That's crazy. But I like it. That's that one I got from a lady's, uh, out of a lady's yard. She was selling it. And it was okay. The blades were a little rusty. I cleaned those and fixed it all up. Until I got it all looking brand new. Once you get these things tuned in, go on YouTube and get looking at these, uh, these nuts. How to adjust them. On the other end, there's a um, head of it. And how to adjust those and get those just fine to where you can put a little slice of paper in there and you can work it all the way from one side to another and it's cutting without slamming against this bar and you're spot on that really cuts the grass good but i'll be honest i just got through cutting my yard and i didn't use this i used my riding lawnmower but uh let's say in situations you know Electricity goes out, gas gets real skimpy. These dudes come in handy, and they cut very good. Actually, the golf course uh, courses, they use something similar to this. It's got the rotary blades in the front, but it's gas-powered. But they like this because when they cut, it disperses. It don't leave no clumps or what like a normal lawnmower. Think about it. I've got a 20, what, a 20-inch? 16 inch and this is an 18 and i prefer this one i wasn't going to do tomatoes this year because last year if some y'all remember uh my tomato crop just devastated itself i had quite a few of these i was running them in the backyard uh, and they got a, a disease which i think uh it came from the uh, producer and every time I'd go back and get more plants, the same thing happened. Well, these dudes are doing very well. I already got tomatoes. Look, that dude's getting loaded. Little grapevine that my wife grew. And guess what? Look at those things. Those are grapes. Ain't that cool? She's proud of them. I'm happy for her. That's an old grapevine that she brought uh, from home, from Georgia, when she was uh, moving up here. Another tomato plant. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna have us some maters. I hate buying store bought some bird pool. Gotta clean that. Uh, I hate buying store-bought tomatoes. They just don't. They're not tomatoes. Like a GMO crossbreed between a tomato and a 
baseball. Ripe on the outside and solid in the middle. These little dudes, we got them uh, a week ago. And they were only like uh, about that high. <laughs> Can't tell me they're not happy. Yeah, buddy. Just a little filler video. A little something we're doing. I wasn't going to plant cucumbers, but I thought I'd go ahead and do it. I got three of them. Both ends are the burpless. And then the middle is called a Japanese cucumber. They're the kind of get real long. They'd be excellent for, uh, you know, slicing, make some bread and butter. I went and uh, pulled out some of the electric fence stakes, crossed them, put a piece of half inch PVC, kind of roughed it on the outside a little bit. And uh, my wife told me we had some string, and she is so smart. And so she gave it to me, and that way I could string up down at the bottom so the runners can start going, and I can try to keep them all off of the ground. Put a little string in the middle, so when this does get heavy, it won't collapse it. I guess I should have looped each one of them, but oh well. I think y'all get the point. They done pretty good. So we're gonna have us some cucumbers and tomatoes. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. We just got back from the doctor's appointment. I meant to get some more white rock. That's gonna be another project to get that and bring that out. Make that look all pretty. Wife didn't want me to kill the moss right there. That green moss. But there's a big old weed growing right in the middle of it. That's dude's gonna have to go. Trying to keep this place. I tell you, at nighttime, I got those solar lights. When they come on, it hits this, it just glows. <laughs> I can see a snail curling. Well, that's our little garden. The way they're going, I say those dudes are going to probably end up being about six feet tall. They're going to probably get all bushy as I'll get out. That's okay. We'll take care of them. Just a little quick. Uh, Short clip from Clarksville Diggers. Just to let you know kind of what we do in between time. And this is something else I'm fixing to do. It's getting a little warm. Look at them clouds. You know one thing I've noticed for a long time? We haven't seen no more of those uh, chemtrails. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All we've been seeing is clear skies or puffy clouds. I guess they figure they've done uh, polluted our lungs enough. We're fixing to get into the pool. Yeah, baby. That's going to be next on the agenda today. All right, guys. We're gonna have, we're gonna call it an end of a of a good video, short one. Y'all have a blessed day, and Joanne and I, we appreciate y'all watching. We'll have some more videos out soon. I was gonna have a one me doing some cooking again, but I, I think I'm making too many people out there hungry, so I'm not going to torture you. Y'all have a blessed day. Clarksville diggers, we're gone. Okay, I lied. This is the after effect. Pork steaks. Yummy, yummy. Melt in your mouth. Boil them a little bit before I put them on the, the fire. Let me just say, they're freaking good. <laughs> Clarksville diggers, we're out of here now.